here's the Robux as promised. And here are the keys to the house. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Aaron, you sold our house for Robux? I can't believe you. And this can't be legal. It is now, so get off my property. No, there's no way. This is my house. Not anymore. I bought it fair and square. You gave him Robux. Yeah, which means it's mine. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Neither am I. This is our home. If you two don't leave, I'm calling the cops. You know what? Call the cops. Fine, I'd love to talk to them. Aaron, you are so selfish. I am not gonna let you sell our home. You are not getting away with this one. Sir, please, there has to be something you can do. I'm sorry, my hands are tied. So you're telling me my son sold our home for Robux and there's nothing we can do about it? Well, there's nothing I'm gonna do about it. Police were no help either. Me and my sons are gonna be homeless now? That sounds like your problem and not mine. Get out of my bank. This is unbelievable. What are we gonna do? Don't worry. I'll figure something out. Wait, what is your brother doing? If you want it, it's all yours. Just give me some Robux for it. Yeah, dude, here you go. Awesome, and here are the keys. Enjoy the car. Thanks, man. Woohoo! Aaron, what did you just do? I just got some sweet Robux. That's what I did. You sold our car for more Robux? Ah! I'm confused. What did I do wrong? Aaron, you just ruined our lives! Well, it doesn't look like the TV works in this place. Nathan, I am so sorry, but it's better than the streets. At least we can rent this trailer with the money we got from selling the rest of our stuff. So we really have nothing now. Well, we have to do what we have to do. Got enough money, I think we can survive for a couple of weeks, maybe? Dad, are you okay? I'm just trying to figure things out. You're really upset. I know you are. Well, of course I am, but don't worry, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and see if I can scrounge up some food. I'll be back later. Ah, poor dad. He's just trying his best. Now this jerk ruins it. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you think? I think I want you to go make up for what you did. Make up for what I did? What are you even talking about? I went shopping and got some sweet new clothes. You should go return it and get the money back for dad. No way. Everything's gonna be fine. Dad said so himself. It will not be fine. Ugh, you're so oblivious. That house was a home that we grew up in and you sold it. Ugh, you're just jealous because I look way cooler than you and I've got more friends now. I can't believe you. Well, your resume is minimal, but we could use the help. Congratulations, you've got the job. Really? That's awesome. Thank you so much. You'll start out as the host and the bus boy, and you can start as early as tomorrow morning if you'd like. Of course, I'll be here tomorrow. Well, great. See you then, Nathan. At least I have a job now. Now I can start helping Dad. Yeah, and I just bought these, too. They were super expensive, but I think I look really cool in them, don't you think? Yeah, dude, you look like... Fresh. Yeah, I know. It's pretty awesome. I've got like so many Robux. Here, here I have my leftovers. Is this it? This is this all you got? Yeah, we can't buy anything with this. Well, I thought I'd give the rest of the Robux to my friends. I thought you'd like them. We should just get out of here or something. Leave this loser in the dust. Wait, no, no, wait, please. I I'll get you more Robux. Yeah, we need like at least a couple thousand more. You gonna get that for us? Yeah, I, I will, I promise. Good. Now, come on. Let's go shopping. You you can't be serious. Is that your new uniform? <laughs> Look at you, stupid bus boy. Go get my extra side of ranch, you loser. At least I'm making some money, Aaron, and helping out the family. You should do the same, too. Yeah, nah. I'm too busy for that. Whatever. <laughs> Work for money? He's such a loser. Why would I do that when I could just take it? I know he's hiding some money in here somewhere. Ah, under his pillow. Of course. Such a loser, Aaron. Oh, and Dad's wallet? Perfect. And then I could spend it on some sweet Robux. I knew I forgot something. My apron. Wait, Aaron? Is that my money? What? What money? I don't see any money. The money in your hand. Hand it over. Finders keepers, loser. All right, here's my cash. Now give me all the Robux you have. Just take it a go, you weirdo. <laughs> awesome. Later, loser. Well, so you got it or what? Here you go, guys. Here are the Robux I promised you. See, I told you I'd come through for you guys. Well, I want all of the Robux. Hand over the ones you have, too. Uh, fine. Here, you can have them if you want. All right. We're going to get so many new items now. I think I want a cape and maybe a new hat. Why don't we all go to the mall and just do more shopping? What did he say? I think he's talking to us. You can't go to the mall with us. Well, why not? Because we don't hang out with poor people. Well, I'm not poor. Yeah, you are. We know that your family's living in a trailer. Yeah, because you sold your dad's house for Robux. <laughs> and I saw your dad taking the bus to work the other day. He doesn't even have a car. We're not going to waste our time hanging out with you. See you around, not. Yeah, get some money, you poor loser. Uh, 
what are all these boxes for? Hey, what's going on? Well, we're moving, Aaron. We're moving? Oh, sweet. Is that your brother? Aaron, I've been meaning to talk to you. Nathan told me how you stole all of our money. It's not a big deal. You guys can just go and make more. That is not how the real world works, Aaron. Yeah, you stole from me and dad. How could you do something like that? I need to go get more Robux for me and my friends. All of this over Robux again? Dad, just calm down, okay? I'll go start packing and then we'll talk about it later. Your brother and I are packing because at least we can afford to rent a small two-bedroom home. But you are not coming with us. What? You, you can't be serious. You're, you're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. Till you learn to act right, you're on your own. Ethan, you're not just gonna do this, are you? There's nothing I can do now, Aaron. Good luck. And here's your food. I hope you guys enjoy it. Nathan, I must say you're doing an incredible job. These past couple of weeks have been incredible. Well, thank you so much. I've just been doing the best that I can do. Well, your best has got you promoted. You're no longer a food runner or a host, okay? You're now gonna be a full-time server. Wait, really? That's right. Now you can start making tips, interacting with the guests. People seem to love talking to you, so I figured it was the perfect fit. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful opportunity. Now make sure you study the menu so you get everything good, okay? Well, of course you're working. Ugh, Aaron, what do you want? Are you here to eat? No, I'm here to talk to you. You left me all alone. I'm so hungry. Can I have some money? You have to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. The landlord of the trailer is gonna kick me out if I don't pay rent. Well, I'm not gonna give you any money. You haven't earned it. Seriously? Come on! Probably just spend it on Robux or something. I'm your little brother. You're supposed to be watching out for me and taking care of me. You need to deal with the consequences of your own actions, Aaron. So I got some Robux for some cool items. Big deal. I'm so sick of you being jealous of me because I'm cooler than you. You know what? You're causing a scene at my work. You need to leave. Fine. Ugh. You're a jerk anyways. You know, after watching all the chefs cook, I think I got the hang of this. Oh, man. What a day. Hey, Dad. How was work today? Uh, it was insanely busy. I'm so exhausted. But look at you. Thanks for making dinner. Well, of course, Dad. You look really upset. What's wrong? I've been thinking about your brother. I just feel terrible about abandoning him. Well, Dad, you did the right thing. Aaron showed up at my job and asked for money the other day. He's asking for money? Maybe he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and, and give him some money. That's not the point. Aaron needs to learn his lesson. He can't just ask for money all the time. He's gotta work for it. Yeah, you're right, but I just can't stop thinking about it. He is my son and your brother. I want you to go and bring him home, okay? Okay, Dad, I'll do this for your sake, not for Aaron's. You know, it's nice to have us all together again. Yeah, Dad, it really is. I was so sick of living in that trailer anyways. I'm so glad to be here now. Well, we're glad to have you, Aaron. Dad, Dad, I meant to ask you something. Of course. Ask me anything. My earbuds have been starting to hurt the inside of my ear. Can you go get me new Apple headphones instead? They're only like $600. Dad, it'll make me really happy. Oh, if it's gonna make you happy, okay, fine. May go run to the store real quick. I'll be right back. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> the best at falling for it. Aaron, what are you up to? Just mind your own business, Nathan. No, he's up to something. Oh, where is it? He always hides it somewhere in here. I knew it. You're looking to take dad's money, aren't you? Wow, using your head for once, Nathan. Really good. Of course I'm looking for money. I cannot believe you. You haven't changed one bit, I see. Yeah, but dad doesn't need to know that. And it doesn't look like you have changed either. You're more annoying than ever. This is my house too. So get out of here. What? That's right. You heard me. Leave before dad comes back. If he saw you like this, it would break his heart. Well, you know what? Fine. I don't need either of you any. Anyways, please, can anybody spare some money? Maybe like a $50 bill. I'll take a 20. Why are people just ignoring me? This isn't working. No one seems to be paying attention to me. Look, there's Trivin and Monty. They'll help me out. Hey, guys. Uh-oh, it's him. Just ignore him. Hey, guys, right here. It's your friend Aaron. Come on. What do you want? Look, guys, I need your help. You need our help? Oh, great. Look. I'm really struggling right now, okay? My dad and my brother kicked me out of the house. <laughs> wow, so not only are you poor, but now you're homeless. I was the one that gave you guys all those Robux. The friends are supposed to help each other. We've never been friends. I don't even know this guy. This guy's not gonna leave us alone until we give him some money. I'm gonna give him a punch in the face. No, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> 
<laughs> Have fun smelling like the river, loser! Alright, so that'd be two steaks, the side of mashed potatoes, and the side of green beans. Your order will be ready right away! Um, Nathan, I need to talk with you. Oh yeah, sure, what's up? Um, you need to go out back. The chef was taking out the trash, and, um, there's something you should see. Something I should see? All right, I'll go check it out. Oh, come on. There's gotta be something here. Aaron? Is that you? What do you want? What happened? Why are you digging through the trash? Because I've been living on the street for weeks now. I sold all my clothes, and I ran out of money. I beg for food, and no one ever pays attention to me. Aaron, I'm so sorry. I know I made mistakes, okay? I've been thinking about it a lot, and I miss you and Dad. You were right. I was selfish. Do you really mean it? Of course I mean it. Well, I have an idea. I'm more than willing to hear it. How would you like a job at my work? Then you can make your own money that way. Really? I thought you gave up on me. We never gave up on you. We just wanted you to learn your lesson. You can't just steal money all the time. Well, I know that now. Come on inside. You can talk to my manager. Maybe we can get you some real food, too. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Aaron's doing great. I'm so proud of him. All right, guys, here's your food. Uh, enjoy. I think I'm done with all the work for the night. You did amazing. This is yours. Your first paycheck. Are you serious? Oh, my first paycheck. This is so cool. What are you going to do with that paycheck? I know exactly what I'm going to do. Here you go, Dad. This is for you. What is this? It's my first paycheck. I promised you I'd pay you back for everything I took. This is the first part. I'm really sorry. I can't believe you spent all our family's money on Robux. Come on, who cares? Look at how decked out I am. You left us all broke. You're so selfish, Chad. You think I'm selfish? Well, take this. How? Hey, hey, break it up, please, son. Just give us the money back. We all need it as a family together. You're leaving us with nothing. <laughs> Here, take a dollar or two at most. Come on, look. What's done is done. Maybe we can sell some of the stuff you bought. What, sell all my Robux? No way, dude. You're right. What's done is done. Hey, get back here. Chad, come on! Get back here! Whoa! Hey, dude! Get out of the way! I'm driving here! I can't believe this. I can't believe Chad would turn his back on his family. He's the most selfish person in the world. We deserve more than this. He's so spoiled and he just robbed us for his own gain. I gotta go make sure my dad's okay. I just feel so bad. Chad, are you moving into this place? Chad, yeah, dude, and I'm immediately kicking you out, too. Look at all these items, man. You're just spending all your Robux right away? It's none of your business, man. I have more money than you do, so why do you care? Because you're my brother. I want to know why you hurt us so much. Well, this is what you get for being a bad brother. I've done nothing but support you forever. You and the rest of our family were always so successful, and I never was. Yeah, but the difference between us and you is that you never tried. I shouldn't have to try, all right? Money should just come my way naturally. Well, that's not how it works. And you just tore our family apart. We used to be close before mom died. Chad, well, chokes on you, man. I never liked you anyway. You know what your problem is? You've done nothing but feel sorry for yourself your entire life. You're responsible for how your life is. And from the looks of it, my life seems pretty great right now. Better than yours. Dad, are you okay? No, I, I, I'm i heartbroken. I can't believe this. Come on, this isn't healthy. Th there's a new family living in our house already. Yeah, I know. We couldn't afford it after Chad stole all the money. I just never thought anyone else would be living there. The memories that we had. I know, but our family was ripped apart part after mom died. Chad just was never the same. I know, but I always loved this house because it reminded me of her. It's gonna be okay, dad. I wonder if our names are still carved on the tree over there. Remember when we all first moved in? Let's check it out. Hey, what are you doing on my property, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was just looking for an old memory. We used to live in this house. I don't care what you're looking for. I own this place, all right? Get your memories and get out of here. Come on, dad. We don't need any trouble. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe this is happening. Look, dad, things are gonna be okay. We'll find a way to make money again. It's not that big of a deal. I still have my my job. I know, but I'm just worried that we won't be able to make things the same. Who cares about money? All I want is my family back. You just have to have faith, Dad. That's the most important thing. Just think positive. I don't know. I just wish things were the way that they used to be. I miss my family. Oh, man, I'm running so late. Chad, what are you doing here? Doesn't matter what your brother's doing here. Why are you late, huh? So I just, I lost my car. I had to walk to work. It took me longer than I thought. I'm really sorry. Classic John, just making excuses for himself. Chad, just go home, man. You don't even have a job. Why are you here? Because I just bought this place, all right? I had a few extra Robux sitting around. That's right. This is the new building owner. I flipped some of my Robux items, got some cash out of it. Wait, so now you're my boss? Oh, well, not exactly, because you're fired, man. <laughs> How could you do this? How could you let him buy this? company. 
company. I'm going to be out of work now. John, John, stop crying like a baby. I'm not crying like a baby. Don't talk to me like that. I don't care, man. Someone else is running this place now. I don't have to deal with it. You're the worst person I've ever met, Chad. Whatever. I don't need this job. Yeah. Well, you can't just walk away from me like that. Hey, what's your problem? How does it feel, huh? How does it feel to have everything just taken away from you? Well, it doesn't feel good, Chad. And you don't know what it's like either because you never work for anything in your life. Doesn't matter because now look who's doing better than the other. It's not a competition. What about dad? He's sick. He can't afford his medicine because of you. Oh, shut up. He'll be fine. It all works out. Well, I just got fired. I was the one buying the medicine. So what, are you gonna do it? No, dude. No one ever cared when I had no money. We used to take care of you all the time and you stole from your own family. I don't even know why I'm talking to you still. I didn't steal anything. I took what was mine. Yeah, well, you can go and take your stuff and go live by yourself. I don't need you around right now. I'm gonna go enjoy my new life and all this new Robux I have and the stuff I've been buying with it. Yeah, you know what? You can have all the stuff in the world, but you can't replace a family. <laughs> <coughs> hey, you okay, Dad? Uh, I just really need my medicine. I didn't realize how sick I get without it. Well, if Chad didn't fire me, I'd be able to buy you some medicine, Dad. But I'll find a way. Don't worry. Look at me. No matter what, you have to take care of your brother. What are you talking about? I should call the police on him. He stole everything that we had. No, this can't happen. Chad's broken, and he thinks material things are gonna fix it. Chad's just always been selfish. He doesn't know how to handle this. He's gonna lose it all. We need to be there for him when he does. Dad, I don't know. This is hard. Just shut up and listen to me. Things will be okay. Family strong. We'll always come back together. The only thing I'm focused on right now is getting us a new place and making some more money so we can go back to our normal lives dad i don't want anything to happen to you i'm gonna be fine john just promise me that you're not gonna be angry and bitter over this i won't dad i always see the positive in everything and i promise i'm gonna build us a better life than what we had before everything's gonna be great yeah, I know it's a lower position than what I had at my last job, but I'm willing to take it. All right, well, if you're willing to do the work, then I don't see the problem here. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I, I can't believe it. This is great. Yeah, man, it's, it's a low-paying job, all right? Hey, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Thanks again. Jack, dude, I can't believe you got me that interview. You were like the best person ever. Yeah, man, of course. I always have your back. I know. You've been a great friend since we were kids. Just sorry about what happened. I heard all about it. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We've always known what Chad was like. He's been like this forever. Uh, yeah, speaking of Chad... Dad, I actually just saw him. Oh, really? I haven't seen him in a while. How's he doing? He lost a bunch of his Roblox items, actually, in a scam. Seriously? He fell for a scam? Yeah, man. And all that extra money he made, he's starting to lose. Well, he didn't make it. He stole it. That's too bad. Yeah, I mean, kind of deserves it, though, if you think about it, right? Yeah, I guess. But he's still my brother, man. I know it sounds weird and he did awful stuff to us, but I don't want to see anything bad happen to him, either. You're a better man than I am. That's for sure. Well, I appreciate everything you did for me, man. I'm gonna go see if I can find Chad and talk to him. Yeah, look, man, I'll give you half of what you're asking. I'll give you, I don't know, $10,000. You know what? Oh, fine, fine. I'll take it. <laughs> awesome, thanks. At least I got some cash. Hey, Chad, are you okay? What? Yeah, of course. I'm fine. What's it to you? Well, I just heard that you got scammed, and now you're selling a bunch of your items, man. No, no, that's that's not it at all. I have so many items, so I have to sell them for, like, you know, real money. All right, well, are you sure? Because it seems like you're in money trouble. Well, what do you care anyway, huh? I care because all of our lives are ruined because of this. You have a head start now. Don't blow the opportunity, Chad. Look at that. Typical John, the only reason you care is because it had to do with the family. You're only caring about yourself. That's not true. I mean, you just said it. I care about the family, Chad, which you're a part of. Well, I'm doing just fine, all right? I got all my new money. Well, what about the business that you bought? That place was super profitable. Eh, don't care. Close it and fired all the workers. So you ruined all of those families' lives as well. How are they supposed to go home and feed their family? You took their job away. I don't know. It doesn't have anything to do with me. You need to visit Dad, Chad. He's not doing great. Well, you need to stop telling me what to do, all right? I have my own life that I'm in control of. Yeah. Yeah, well, all I know is that you were a spoiled brat right before mom died, and you weren't able to handle the guilt. You don't want to do the same thing with dad. John, just do me a favor and just give up, all right? Fine, whatever. Enjoy your new life. Yeah, that's right. I think you deserve a promotion. Wow, thank you so much. I'm making so much more money than I was at my last job. Well, I mean, you're doing an excellent job and all that, and I'm just impressed with everything. Yeah, well, I just appreciated the opportunity. I always work hard and try to do my best. And I'm just proud of you for bouncing back after what happened to you. I mean, most people would just give up. No matter what happens in life, you can't get up. Things get hard, but they can always get better. Wow, so much to write a book about that. I'm sure it will inspire a bunch of other people out there. Yeah, I don't know. Only thing I care about is taking care of my dad right now. Yeah, how's he holding up? He's doing okay. He has his good days and his bad days, but I can at least afford his medication now. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear. Listen, maybe it's a good idea if you take the rest of the afternoon off to go see him. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm surprising him with something huge today. I'm so stoked.
All right, Dad, we're almost there. What is this? Dad, I just bought this place for us. Wait, wait, what are you saying? It's a brand new house, just like you wanted, Dad. Oh, it's, uh, it's really nice. Dad, this is a good thing. Come inside and check it out. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Come on, Dad, isn't this great? Oh, it's not great. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... Dad, what's wrong? I I'm very grateful for you, son. I just, I, I just wish that our family was still together. I know, Dad, but like I told you, you can't be living in the past. Things change. I just wish that Chad didn't turn away from us. Us. It breaks my heart every day. I know, Dad, but it's okay. We're gonna make our own memories. We're gonna start over here. I'm really proud of you for doing this. I know it's not easy. Yeah, it was really hard, Dad, but nothing that's worth it in life comes easy. I know, and money and things don't matter. Just family. I didn't mean to upset you, Dad. I thought this would make you happy. I just, uh, I'm just like a little confused right now. That's all. I need to lay down. Come on, Dad. I I'm sorry. Things are gonna get better. Man, is that Chad? What's he doing out here? Hey, what's going on? I lost everything. What happened? How? You had all of our money. Yeah, I know, and it's not helping you just sitting here rubbing it in my face. Look, man, I'm not rubbing it in your face. I honestly knew this was probably gonna happen. Yeah, I'm sure you just love every minute of this. I don't love it at all. I want you to be okay. Shut up, John. You don't care about anything. Maybe if you weren't so terrible and selfish, this wouldn't have happened to you. It wasn't my fault, John. It wasn't. It's never my fault. Yes, it is your fault. And why can't you learn? You're not alone. You have people that care about you. Because don't you understand? Don't you get it? After mom died, I've, I've been alone since then. No, you haven't. I miss mom too every day. Yeah, well, I was the one that was closest to her. Yeah, I know. And you acted this way before she passed. Don't you feel guilty for that? Yeah, of course I do. I felt guilty ever since. You can't let your past ruin your life. Okay, Chad? My life's already been ruined, okay? I have nothing and I'm just alone. You gotta stop being a crybaby. Yeah, it's easy for you to say, look at you. You're back on your feet. Because I don't throw my life away when things don't go my way. Well, that must be nice, because here I am now. Look, even though you hurt us and you turned your back on us, I really would appreciate it if you stayed with me and Dad. We can help you get back on your feet. No, no, I, I can't do that after everything that's happened. Come on, I'm telling you, it's okay. It's fine, I'd, I'd rather just live on the streets, okay? Chad, come back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, what's what's wrong? What's wrong with my dad? The old man that lived here, he had a heart attack, and people are currently rushing him to the hospital as we speak. Oh my gosh, is, is he gonna be okay? I'm not sure. I think you should just prepare for the worst. Oh, this can't be happening. This can't be happening. What hospital? We decided to move into the hospital the city over. Why? Why couldn't he just come here? They have a better heart doctor over there. The chances of him living are way higher. I'm glad that at least he's got a better opportunity there. What can I do? How can I help him? I'm not sure if there's anything that you can do. Can I go see him? Yeah, of course. It's best if you go in a hurry, though. If I were you, I'd get any family that you know and go visit him. Why would you say the rest of the family? Because if worse comes to worse, you guys may need to be ready to say goodbye. Oh, man. It's so cold out here. Chad, dad had a heart attack. Dad had a heart attack? See, this is what happens when you take people for granted, Chad. He might die. Sorry, I'm just, I was so jealous, all right? I, I never had anything good in my life. You did have people good in your life. You just pushed them away. I know, but mom was just the only one I connected with. I know that you and her were close. Doesn't mean that just when she died, everyone else started hating you. We were all close. You're right, and I, I'm sorry. I didn't know that you were hurting so bad. I'm sorry as a brother. I, I wish I could have done something. I just don't know what I should do now. I mean, how, how do I make up for all this? Dad's probably not gonna make it from what they said. We need to go and we need to say goodbye. You need to do the right thing. I know. You're, you're right. I need to finally step up and be the person I should be. Yeah, exactly. Through this whole thing, all Dad's wanted was for you to come back. Well, at least you'll know at the end, I'm gonna be there there for him and we're gonna be a family again we wasted too much time already talking just get in the car we gotta get to the hospital come on i hope it's not too late oh i think it's this room right here uh dad dad you're, you're alive oh yes sons both of you you're both here the fireman said that you weren't gonna make it it was one of the worst ones that they ever saw they're the best doctor in the world he saved me i'm just so glad you're alive dad i'm sorry for everything that i did all right i'm gonna be better i promise i know you will son the most important thing is that we're all together now we have our family back kevin peter outside right now my car is being repossessed who spent all of our family's money dad it's not a big deal all right it was me i needed some robux wait kevin and you spent all of our family's money on Robux? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Nothing. Look at me. I look cool now. Well, I'm glad you look cool, Kevin. Because of you now, we can't afford to live. We're going to be homeless. 
Kevin, you really just left us on the streets like that? What are you doing? Why did you do this to us? Oh my gosh, Peter. Now you're starting to sound like dad. I'm just being responsible. Why did you just spend all of our money like that? I was getting picked on, okay? I just wanted to look as cool as the other kids. I was playing an obby and they were picking on me because my avatar didn't look cool. So I just went home and took dad's credit card. I didn't think about it. I didn't mean to spend all the money. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you did. Now pull your act together because we need to make sure that dad's okay. Well, I tried my best, but I couldn't get the car back. I had to pay a fine. And I don't even have money to do that. Thanks to Kevin. Don't worry, dad. I think Kevin still has some money in his account. Yeah, I have a little bit, not a whole lot left. Well, at least it's something. Peter, maybe you can take him and go buy some food at the store. That way we can at least have one last meal tonight. Because after this, I don't know what we're gonna do. It was 250? Uh, okay, here you go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I forgot to get one last thing. Kevin, where do you think you're going? Get back here, man. That is 150 Robux. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Perfect. Now my outfit's complete. I look sick. Are you happy now? That was probably the remaining of the money that we had left and you just spent it on some stupid item. Oh my gosh, it's not stupid. Look how cool I look. You look ridiculous, man. I hope it was worth not us having a meal for tomorrow. Dad's waiting for us. Let's go. Kevin, listen, man. I know you're happy that you have all these cool things, but it's time to grow up a little bit. Your family needs you right now. I don't care what happens. I look so cool now. Watch this. I'll show it to you. Yo, dude, what's up? You think I look cool or what? Yo, yeah, man. Sick drip, dude. Yeah, and what about you? Dude, it's so much better than that other guy that's like right here. I don't care what these guys' opinions are. Are you boys done gallivanting around town all day? Wait. What is this? What is on your neck, Kevin? My sick new chain, Dad. Unbelievable! Well, you better say goodbye to it. What? What? I just got off the phone with the bank. I'm able to get a refund if we return everything you bought right now. So that's what we're going to do. No, I don't want to return this. Just do the right thing. That's right. I race you better than this. Now, the three of us are going to march ourselves down to the Avatar store and return everything. Wait, what? No, no, no. The store was just open a second ago. Yeah, well, now I'm rich. <laughs> I'm out of here. Who was that? Uh, that was the manager of the avatar store. What? No, 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 get back here! Please, get back here! No, no, oh, oh. everything is gone! That was our last chance! Dad, Dad, it's okay, we can figure this out. I hope you're happy, Kevin. I don't know what the big deal is, Dad, it's just money. You can, like, go get it anywhere, we can make more. The world doesn't just work like that, Kevin. Do you even care that I was being bullied and picked on because of what I was wearing? Do you even care how that made me feel? Listen, I'm I'm sorry you got bullied and everything, but you should have said something. Instead, you just did the wrong thing. Sorry, boys. I, uh, I don't have time for this. I've got to head off to work. Maybe ask my boss for a raise or bonus or something. I'll talk to you boys later. My gosh, dad is being so dramatic. It's really not that big of a deal. I just, I can't with you right now, Kevin. I can't with you. I'm gonna go find my friends and hang out with them. Oh, there's Trent right there. Man, he's so cool. I can't wait to show him my new items. Maybe he'll be impressed. Maybe he'll be my friend and want to hang out with me. Yo, Trent, what's up, dude? Uh, who are you? Uh, oh my gosh, Kevin? Uh, yeah, of course. Dude, you look sick, man. What happened to you? You are like a complete loser the last time I saw you. Well, Trent, honestly, you really opened my eyes. I just wasn't at my full potential, you know? Yeah, seriously. I didn't even consider wasting a second of my time hanging out with you like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Say, I have this extra Dominus, and honestly, I don't even really want it. It's not like a big deal. Do you want it? Dude, a Dominus? You're just gonna give it away to me? You know how much these things are worth? What? Just a couple Robux. No big deal. Dude, your family must be, like, rich or something. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. Dude, honestly, because of this, you can come and hang out with my clan anytime, anywhere. Kevin! There you are. Look, we gotta go now. Uh, Peter, can't you see I'm busy? I'm hanging out with my friend. Dude, that doesn't matter right now. Dad needs us. Oh my god, do you actually know this piece of trash? Sadly, yes. This is my brother. Peter, stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. Well, it's these types of people that got you in trouble in the first place. So I don't care. Come on, Kevin. No, I'm not listening to you. You're just as boring and stupid like Dad. Always talking about money and worrying all the time. Just make more money. Do you know how ridiculous that is right there? Just make more money? Yeah, if I could, I would, man. I'm out of here, man. One of us has to help dad. Hey, uh, dad, how, how did the work meeting go today? Not well. I got fired today, Peter. You got fired? No, no, this can't be happening. Well, sadly, it happened. I went in to ask my boss for a raise, and he's not the nicest guy. Fired me right on the spot. Uh, I'm sorry, dad. I promise we're gonna get this figured out. But right now, it looks like you need a rest. You don't look so well. well thanks, Peter. I'm not feeling so well, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe it's all the stress or something. I, I... Dad, dad, no! 
Uh, how's he doing, Doc? Is he all right? I have to be honest with you, Peter. Your dad barely made it in. His life signs are super faint. Okay, but he's gonna be all right, right? I mean, he has to be okay. Well, he's in the hospital now, so he's safe. He'll get better. Now, there is one thing I need to ask you. Are you gonna pay for the bill in cash or card? Because there is a discount if you pay cash. Oh, right, sir. Uh, I forgot about the bill. Um, it's gonna be about $500 a night. A night? I can't afford that. I don't have any money right now. Wait, you're broke? And you brought your dad to the most expensive hospital in all of Roblox? Wow. Please, sir. Th this is my dad we're talking about here. I can't lose him. I'll do whatever I need to. Just, just, just give me time. All right, all right. Just calm down. I guess I could give you a week to pay it off. Although after that, if you're not able to pay, your dad will not be able to stay in the hospital. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I, I can get it in a week. I promise. Oh, no. This guy's here again. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? Nah, I'm just taking inventory. Gotta figure out what we're gonna take. Please, man. Look, you don't have to take anything, all right? These are our items and our personal belongings. You don't have the right just to take them away from us. Listen, if your old man can't pay his bills, then he gets his stuff taken away. That's the rules. I don't make them. I just follow them. And now that he's in the hospital, everything is basically good as gone. <laughs> just because my dad is in the hospital doesn't mean that I can't pay the bills, too. Just give me more time. Time, I promise. I just need an extension. Nah, can't do that. Just doing my job, you know. I don't have that authority. Just gonna lock this up. Nah. That way you can't go in there and try to hide any of your things. You're gonna have to deal with it. Did you just lock the front door? Huh, looks like the only thing working in this family is your eyes. <laughs> hey, Peter. Man, I had so much fun today hanging out with my new friends. You look bad. What's wrong? I'm glad that you're having a great time, Kevin. Because of the things that you did, we're going through all of this. And we just lost our house, man. Uh, what do you mean we lost our house? It's right there. Now's not the time for smart remarks. We are homeless. And it's because we don't have money as a family anymore. I hope it was worth making new friends. Well, I... I don't want to be homeless. Peter, I'm sorry. Dude, it's too late for apologies. You need to realize your actions have consequences. This is our money that you stole from all of us. And all of this just show me that you're literally the most selfish person in the entire world. Hope it was worth your new dominus. You said I was sorry, Peter. I didn't mean it. Wait, wait, Kevin, Kevin, get back here. Kevin! Oh, man. Kevin! Kevin! Oh my god, I'm on my stomach. I haven't eaten in so long now. We can't afford anything. I smell food coming from over there. Must be nice. I, I can't help myself. There has to be something in here. Come on, come on. Anything. Anything at all. Okay. A uh, burger. Oh, thank god. Mm, this is gross. At least it's something. I can't get a job like this on an empty stomach. Who's gonna hire me if I look like this at the same time? I can't believe she didn't even say thanks for the extra ranch I brought her. Whoa, hey, what are you doing back here? Listen, sir, I'm homeless. My dad's in the hospital and just a lot's happened that I can't really get into right now. I've just been looking for a job. I'm trying to apply anywhere I can. Is this place hiring at all? Uh, yeah, actually, we had some guy walk out today. Do you know how to wash dishes? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. It's easy, as long as it's a job. Yeah, it might seem easy, but it's not glamorous. But at least it's minimum wage, and we get a free meal every shift. A free meal? Okay, okay, yes. Yes, please. Is there anywhere that I can apply, or... No, you have the job. It's dishwashing, dude. With this, I can help my family out in no time. Please, I just need, like, a little bit of change, maybe? I'm not giving you any money. You look rich. Get out of here. I'm not rich. It's just the drip. Ugh. Please, I need some help. Nah, dude, sorry. You look like some kind of scammer or something. Get out of my business. Ugh, this isn't working. What am I supposed to do now? Is that Peter? Does he have a new job or something? Well, he figured out a way to fix this. Why can't I? I can't go face my family after this. It's gonna be so mad at me. They already hate me enough as it is. I gotta find a way to make this right and get money back. But I need help. I can't do this on my own. Oh my gosh, perfect. There's Trent. Trent? Yo, dude, Trent, what's up? Can I talk for a sec? Oh, uh, dude, you look kind of sad. I, I don't do sadness. Or are you fine? Look, I spent all my family's money on Robux for my items, and we need some food. Is there any way you can, like, donate some Robux to me? <laughs> Wait a second, you thought that me and you were actually friends? Get real, man! What? But we were like hanging out. Trent, where are you going? Excuse me, sir. Listen, uh, I worked all week, double shifts, but I only have $300. Only $300? You know the bill is up to about five grand now, don't you? I know, I've been really trying. There's only so much I could do with the dishwashing position. Washing dishes? Ugh. Oh, all right. But unfortunately, your dad can't stay here anymore. He's already ready to go. Oh my gosh, dad, how are you feeling? I feel awful. Where is your brother? I don't know. 
He's off doing something. He just ran off. He's done wasting my time with him. It's obvious that he doesn't care. I don't know what's gotten into your brother. I have to say, I am proud of you, Peter. You're handling this really well. Now that I've been in the hospital a few days, I've got to go find a new job. <clears throat> Oh, man, I do not feel good at all. You can't go find a new job in the condition that you're in right now. Look, you can sit in the restaurant that I work at, all right? It'll keep you warm at least. I need to go back to work. All right, plus we better go before they start charging us just to breathe in here. By the way, thanks for the help. It means a lot, son. There he is. Trent, dude, we need to talk. What did I tell you, man? I'm not here wasting my time. Ugh. Listen, it'll be worth your time, okay? I want to trade my items with you. Wait, seriously? Why would you just give up all your cool things, man? That's like the only reason I'm talking to you right now. Because these things got my family in trouble. I'm doing the right thing. Listen, you can pick on me all you want, okay? About how lame my clothes are and how stupid my hair is or whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. Plus, I'm not really allowed to hang out with you anymore. I don't care about any of your stupid motivational speech man. Just give me your items. I'll trade you. Yeah, of course. Figures you wouldn't care. Before I give you these items, I just want to tell you one thing, Trent. You just seem to be such a mean and rude person. I don't know why, and I don't really care anymore. I've got people that love me and care about me. And it's not such a bad thing to let those people in your life. Maybe you should learn that, too. Dude, I'm Trent. Everyone knows who I am. Everyone cares about me. Do they, though? Because from what I'm seeing right now, it doesn't seem like anybody cares. D I'm done with this talk! How much do you want for all your things? Because I want everything. You know, I'm really thankful you actually got a job at a restaurant, Peter. Now we can have a nice warm meal for once. Of course, Dad. I just want you to be okay. Hey, Peter. Hi, Dad. Wait, Kevin, where did all your things go? Did you lose those too? Not really. Kind of. I, um... I gave Trent back all my items. But I have a ton of Robux back now. And we can get our house back. Roger, stop acting like a brat. Yeah, well, you were the one who raised me, Dad. Guys, please, just stop fighting. Are we really gonna let this money tear us apart? Listen, just because you won this money in a sweepstakes doesn't mean it's all yours, okay? Of course I know that. I entered it because I wanted this money for all of us. Likely story, bro. He probably wants all 10 million of it to himself. Selfish Stan. That's what we should call you now. More like stupid Stan. Listen, why are we arguing, okay? We should be happy. We're so lucky. This money is going to change our lives. I am just so over all of this drama. You're right, honey. I agree. There's no sense in arguing. We should take the money and put it in the bank. That way it can stay safe. Yes, that's right. $10 million. We're extremely, extremely wealthy now. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait a second. This looks a little short. Hey, what are you doing? I'm holding some of the money? This money is for all of us. You can't just take that, selfish brat. We're supposed to put it in the bank. Yeah, Dad, I'm just holding it. Calm down. Don't you tell me to calm down. This is 10 million Robux we're talking about here. Dad. I'm sorry, Stan. I think all this stress is getting to me. Clearly it is. Mom? Did you hear that? Of course I did. Your father is clearly out of control. I should have never trusted you with the money, Greg. Me? You're the one in the family that can't be trusted the most. Guys, please stop fighting. What are you going to do with the money, huh, Janine? Spend all the money on like 50 designer purses? Oh, and what are you going to do? Buy some model trains and another Apple Watch? If it's my part of the money, I can do whatever I want with it. Exactly. And this will be my part of the money. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have never entered that sweepstakes. Look at what it's doing to us. Where is Roger? We're supposed to meet up before class so we can go over homework. He always helps me out. Where could he be? Yo, what up, little bro? Oh my gosh, Roger. What are you wearing? Like the new fit, eh? Pretty sick. Yeah, sure, whatever. Listen, can you please just help me with this math homework? It's my worst subject and you're so good at it. Hey, no worries. I got some math for you. A milli plus a milli equals baller. Come on, Roger, please. I'm trying to be serious here. Yo, I am serious, bro. We're rich now. We don't have to study. What are you doing? Just because our family has some money now doesn't mean we can't study and pass school. We have to do well in school. That way we can get jobs to make more money. You're my older brother. Shouldn't you know this? Oh, dude, you're being such a total buzzkill right now. Our family is 10 million Robux. Let's go do something fun. Oh, oh, I know. Let's go buy a ton of expensive Pokemon cards. Set them on fire and show it to a bunch of nerds. That sounds sick, right? What? No. What is wrong with you? I'm going to focus on my schoolwork. And don't forget, we have family game night tonight. Oh, really? But I was going to rent a private plane and go shopping in Dubai. Rent a private plane just to do some shopping? That's a little ridiculous, Roger. Yeah, well, you're being ridiculous. I'm going to do what I want with my money. Got it? So just back off and stop telling me what to do, yeah? I can't believe this has gotten to his head, too. Oh, 
whatever. At least I can go hang out with mom after school. She's gonna take me to the cafe. That's something to look forward to. Ugh, I can't believe Stan wants to come here. The food is disgusting. There's nothing but poor people around. Ugh. I don't belong here. Hey, Mom. Hey, you look upset. What's going on? You want me to meet you in this gross, disgusting, poor person cafe. Oh, no, not you too. Why is everybody acting like this? Don't worry. Everything will be fine once I get my ice water with lemon. Where is my ice water with lemon? Mom, I can't believe you're acting like this. Sure, I get why Roger's kind of acting spoiled, but not you too. <gasps> Gasp, my own son calling me spoiled, how dare you? And on family game night. I'm really excited for game night. It'll be nice to have all of us together and do something not revolving around money. Oh, speaking of money, I actually have to go shopping. I should get some new shoes for game night and some more candles. Mom, we're supposed to spend time together. Yeah, and that sounded like fun, but shopping sounds like way more fun. Listen, I'll see you at home, okay? Mwah, kisses, love you, bye. Of course, here we go. It's an exclusive, and I have to have it. And what about those shoes, huh? I got them just off the runway, so what? Oh, not this again. Guys, can you please just stop? Sweetheart, would you look at your father spending his money like this, like a child? I am a grown man, Janine. I can do whatever I want with the money I have. And so can I. I'm so sick of this. I hate you guys fighting over money. It's so dumb. This money is supposed to bring our family together, not break it apart. <sighs> Maybe he's right, Greg. Can't we just go back to the way our family was before? We have game night tonight, right? You guys promised. Listen, son, I know we promised this, but there's a big model train convention in happening in Kentucky. I don't think I can miss it. A model train convention? You've got to be kidding me. What, Janine? I'm guessing there's some new fashion show happening, and you have to have the whole new line, don't you? Not the whole line. Just a couple of dresses. What's the big deal? What? Game night? Game night is canceled, son. There's more important things, you know, like the money that we have and how to spend it. Forget the money. This is so dumb. I wish I never won that money at all. I'm going to go return. Return it. Return the money? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Look at what you did. You just made your mom faint. How are you being so selfish? This is unbelievable. I don't even want to be around you guys. I don't recognize you anymore. Stan, what are you doing? I'm raking the lawn. It's part of my chores. We pay people to do that now. Whatever. Look, we need to have a conversation. Dad, I'm not really in the mood to talk. Well, fine. Then you can just listen. I know you think returning the money is a good thing. But honestly, the money's the only thing holding this family together. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? Just think about it, Stan. If we didn't have this fortune, we couldn't afford things like caviar, designer clothes, or sweet model trains. Your mom wouldn't be able to buy her fancy shoes or her stupid candles. And your brother wouldn't have that new surround system he wanted. Don't you see how happy this money makes this family? We were happy without all of those things. Well, that's where you're wrong. No, you're wrong. We have each other and that's all that we need. You guys raised me like that. And now all of a sudden because of this 10 million Robux, you guys just switch on me. Money doesn't mean anything, especially if you got love from your family. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on a second. Hello, bank. Yes, I'd like to invest some money in my family's love. Oh, you can't do that because it's ridiculous. Thank you. Dad? Listen, Stan, I love you. Obviously, I'm your father. But love doesn't have a value. Not like money. Or an exclusive model train that's only released at Christmas time. I can't believe this. I don't know who you are at all. Why won't you just listen to me? I can't believe you're being so stupid. That's why I'm not listening to you. Because you're acting dumb. You just called me stupid? Well, I, um... No. I'm over this. Stan, wait! Look, sir, all I ask is that you put a hold on my account. That way no one can spend any more of the money. Why would you want to do that? Your family should be happy right now. Well, they're not. So can you please do something about this? Unfortunately, no. I'm going to need your dad's card before I do anything. Well, there's no way my dad's just going to hand over his card to me. And there's nothing I can do. Sorry. Next. Ugh, thanks for nothing. And I told her once again it was an exclusive. Stan, what are you doing here? I could ask you guys the same thing. Uh, I'm just popping by to pull out a sweet grand. Yeah, I gotta take my boys to the lake later. Gotta knock in some speedboat action. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Sure, sounds like fun. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I was watching my TV in the basement, and then I realized it's only like 60 inches. I mean, probably like a 120-inch TV. So I tried to beat your brother down here before he took all the money out. Yeah, because you're gonna spend it on something stupid, Dad. What, like driving around on a boat all day? Is it stupid? Get a car, Roger. 
Roger. Do you realize how ridiculous you sound right now? Oh, Stan. Wow. Sorry, I forgot you were standing there. I was thinking about the money. Speaking of, I'm here to collect. Get out of my way. You know what? No, this is out of control. I'm calling an emergency family meeting right now. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Yes, I would. I'm calling mom. We're all going to talk in the park in 20 minutes. Of course, naturally, they're all a half hour late. Where are they? <laughs> right on time. All right, all right. Come on, Stan. Let's make this quick. This is supposed to be a family meeting. Mom and dad aren't here yet. Ugh, gotta be at the lake. I'm missing prime tanning weather, okay? And besides, who cares? Family's whatever, man. It's easy to replace when you got the cash. What? Roger, you're joking, right? So you bought two TVs? You're darn right I did. I saw you bought five new purses. How much did that set you back, huh? All right, now that everybody's here, you all need need to stop. Take a look at yourselves. Don't you see something wrong here? Um, no. I think I look great. What are you trying to say, Stan? I look lit, all right? Unlike you, looking like you just crawled out of the sewer. Yeah, why can't you look as cool as your brother, huh? Oh, cheers, Dad. Well, good talk, Stan. Later, nerd. Why are you doing this, Stan, huh? Why aren't you happy like the rest of us? Speak for yourself, Greg. What do you mean? Let me guess. You're unhappy you don't have enough money. Can't you see our son is upset? Honey, will a new yacht make you feel better? No, a new yacht won't make me feel better. What will fix this will be having my family back together. Uh-oh. Honey, this isn't good. We booked that private plane. We're supposed to go to Vegas. I'm not going to Vegas. I'm going to LA for lunch. What? You're gonna leave me all alone? I'm your husband! Yeah, and I love you, which is why I'm going to LA for lunch. Bye. Gene, wait! I wanna go to LA for lunch! Janine! I'm not listening at all. This went awful. Well, that didn't help. I thought seeing a movie would cheer me up. Uh, what's this? It's an emergency. Oh, no. Doctor, what is going on? Oh, are you Stan the brother? Yeah, that's me. Well, Roger got into a pretty bad speedboat accident. He almost broke every bone in his whole body. Oh, of course he did. Just make sure your brother's a little more careful, all right? I'm going to go get some more Band-Aids and a lollipop. That'll cheer him up. <sighs> well, look at you now, Roger. Are you all right? <sighs> Oh, Stan? Oh, dude, you missed out. That crash was the sickest, bro. <laughs> Yeah, so sick that now you're in the hospital, Roger. Oh, it was so worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, well, luckily no one else got hurt. You're so irresponsible, Roger. And you're my older brother. Why are you acting so immature? Just because I'm sick of following the rules, man. When you got money, you can do whatever you want. No, you can't. Clearly, you're learning that the hard way. Dude, dude you worry too much. I'll be out of here in no time. You are a literal mess, Roger. Just be lucky you're still alive and one piece. Technically, I'm in a million pieces. Just like a million dollars. I can't with you anymore. Feel better, Roger. <sighs> Just wait until mom and dad find out about Roger. They're gonna be so mad at him. Uh, excuse me, do you have money for a burger? I'm sorry, what? Please, I'm so hungry. Uh, yeah, sure, here you go. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how hard my life has been. I lost my job, and I've been on the street ever since, and, and it's been a really hard life. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. If only I had a place to stay, maybe a warm meal and a shower, I could get on my feet again, find a new job. You just need someone to give you a chance. Yes, it, it doesn't take much, just a little bit to get me on my way. You know what, sir? I think I might know someone who can help. Oh no, what is going on? I knew your candles would be the end of us, Janine. Your train flew off the track. It's not my fault. Blah, blah, blah. Keep deflecting, Janine. Mom, Dad. Oh, Stan, glad you're here to see your mom's candle collection burn our beautiful house down, huh? Isn't this great? You guys need to stop fighting. There's way more going on here. Your father just keeps blaming me for everything. And your mother keeps deflecting. And I've had enough of the fighting. Stan. Lower your voice. No, I'm done with this. We're all alive. That's what we should be thankful for. Oh my gosh, Stan. I can't take this anymore. I'm at my breaking point. I'm the one that won this money. And dad, I want your bank card right now. What? No, I'm not giving you my bank card. Dad, the card now. Fine, fine. Here, here, take it. What are you, what are you gonna do? Clearly the two of you and Roger can't spend this money properly. So I've had enough. Does that mean no more money? <sighs> I don't know. I need time to think about this. 
Although all this money was good for one thing, at least it helped me rebuild the house. I just hope my family understands what I'm gonna do with the rest of it. And here they are now, perfect. Stan, my boy, there you are. Wow, look at this. The house looks incredible, good job. Yeah, it does. Did you, uh, did you spend all of the money on the house? Is there any money left? Please tell me there's money left. No. There is no money left. What? what I saw how this money was changing everybody, and I couldn't take it anymore. So I donated the rest of it to people that actually needed it. But, but I need, we needed it. No, we didn't. People that are struggling every day need that money way more than us.